Yes, welcome to Winners 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 Uncle Derek back. Miss you, mate. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Hi. Is it even? <laughs> Fuck, right, right, right. Feels like it. Lewis is back in this morning. What is it, mate? Lewis is a wee back in this morning, mate. Is he a wee back? Oh, a bit That's emotional. A bit emotional last night. Were you? Uh, seeing him for the last time. Aye, he's on route this morning. We'll be back to Bologna. <laughs> so, aye, he came down last night. Uh, just as we're putting up all the Christmas. Has he been staying with you, huh? No, he's been up at uh, his in laws. Oh, so. I like his in laws better than I don't like that. Nah, that's a, that's a, I don't like that. Nah, nah, I don't like hearing that. Nah, yeah, what you're on you? He's got to go. Would you let him and the missus have fun in your house? No, nah, he's got to go with his good lady. <laughs> <laughs> his good lady is comfortable in the way. So they are. Ah, so. <laughs> oh, 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 I'd just go into a hotel, to be honest with you. Do you? Yeah, I would, I, no, I would, I would have the choice. He's on player camera so day because if everybody's watching you to see if you're going to see it in Daffy Day, because the family's on you, aren't they? I, oh, by the way, I'm going to get so much stick, by the way. You Aye. need to be careful. I was, I've been cornered. I was cornered at the weekend. <laughs> when I'm, I'm the family. Aye, all around about me, sat down, light on me and all that. You shining. Naked, naked. <laughs> I wasn't naked. I was fearing for my life at one point. And what was it? I think I've, 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 I've took it too far. Even if it the hairy ass man, I don't know. What <laughs> yeah. uh, is, oh. Jim, is Jim Paul Jump director, or is it just through word of, like for other people? Do you know Jim's an actor? No way. He is. Aye. Is he mate? Aye, Jim. Aye, he's, he's got a, well. Is he not an ass double for a black <laughs> for a girl? <laughs> that's he does that's advert. Right, he's on an Can advert. He's, he's on an advert. I'll show you it maybe after this. Right? He's on an advert, and uh, it's quite a serious one. And we it? were by me and Ross were last night talking about that sad bit. She says, "What a way to just finish off with a being to produce the old backside." Uh, <laughs> what well, the arse is in that bit? No, but he could, if he had of, I think should have done it. He should have I, that would have just been icing on the cake. Have you seen him directly? But since you said the comment about his arse, have you actually seen him face to face? No, I've, no, no, no. He's a good lad. I know what that bit is. It's it's sponsor a, a panda, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's him when he's back. Well, he's, like a panda. <laughs> he's a good lad. He's a man of many talents. What else is he good at? Oh, he's everything. Aye, you name it. Aye, Jim. Oh, right. uh, yeah. oh no, I'm talking DIY. Anything like that. Right. The only thing he's probably no good at is football. <laughs> Was he hopeless on you? I well, I did. I did need. The hairy ass, sorry. Right, the right, ears, right. the, the arse hairs get tangled together. That's why. So I, 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 right, I need to stop now because I don't want Colin. Right. I'm, I'm under real pressure. Who fed the whole family? Now. The whole family. Oh, the whole family. Even the wife. Even walking in here. Was it last week? He was like, right, keep it low key the day. Yeah. You know, I'm, not I'm not just for football, but how he was on this as well. What about you? He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's well, so, so calm. I'm just saying, well. he there, but he, he's so impressed with him being a dad, isn't he? Aye, it put, puts me to shame, man. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you do that? What does he do? Everything. Just the feeding, the changing, the, just the way he, he handles the way and goes about. I, I, can't remember me then mm. any of that with the boys. Strange, so he says that you keep asking for a smell of nappies. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, you, you forget them. about them when they're that age. It's just relentless, isn't I'm it? Back, you know what I remember? Uh, hey, everywhere. You know, early and all that. You hang with the nappy bag and fucking scoot right early, isn't it? It's like, Rest of the day, you're reading a push. Oh, I've been there, Derek. It's class, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> leg, put the, put the legs right up, you're like, Aye. Run! It's right up his back! <laughs> Clear! So and, it, it. Uh, so and you're like, remember, touching it, and you're like, oh my God! And then, no, do you know what? Like, you'd clean them, and you wouldn't even notice, and you'd be sitting like five minutes later, and you'd look, and you'd hear a bit of shite on your pinky or something. Like. <laughs> I mean, he's always that yellowy like, green colour. Oh, <laughs> no, oh. But, no, he's uh, he's took to it too. But oh, that's the thing. He's, he's not going to see the when they uh, are warm for oh, that's the tough. next to the end of January. So, oh, oh really? So, oh, so a bit of more, uh, first Christmas. Oh, so you missed the first Christmas. Uh, it looks like it. Don't get round the way. Don't remember whether dad was there or no. But just with uh, the pictures more. of the first Christmas. What was my dad? Uh, that's that's tough. But that's dedication. Sometimes you've got uh, to do he's things. Just, guy, just get the fuck by you, don't. Did you ever change Christmas there? Aye, I love that. Aye, Burn I remember time. loads Burling. of times. Burlin, where you sleeping? Best, I best training session, but a toro by the way, half uh, club. Can I can't beat it. I know <laughs> we did it at Sunderland. I remember being in a hotel Christmas night. That was crap. Uh, so have you, Sunderland? Blackburn away. Uh, We're uh, sitting there Christmas night. That was when the canyon told us to stay. The canyon told us to pass down Christmas day. He's like, please, please, lads, <laughs> no turkey, uh, no, but uh, no pasta, uh, pasta night I before. Know. Chose. I tell you, he's gone straight enough for me to go back to his house Christmas Day as well. I was 17 into him in the oh. first team and he says, do you want to come back to my house for Christmas dinner? Me and Mikey McGlinchey, because I was in digs, obviously. I, 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 
But oh. I, I was like, fuck it. No, I, I, I didn't say it. What a danger. My first, first, time, that, time, <laughs> first time Christmas dinner, Christmas day when I was asked to be in the squad. And I remember sitting there like on my own just in the house and I was thinking, everybody's away. Like, where did I go for Christmas dinner today? Mm. Had training. And then the guy up at the pub at the top of the hill says, Kevin Cop Mule. And I'm sat there on a the fucking table for one. In the Queen Vic in Sunderland, and there's fucking like, hundreds of families. Is it? I've just Pat fucking Butcher. died. Did they yeah. Big Pat Bitch and the Queen Vic. Did Pat Bitch okay. you, you, you bring big, big <laughs> Bet Gilroy's uh, jumper. Surely the Sunday must have been. Hey, surely must must have been a Sunderland supporter. There must have been. I know, but no, because I was only young. I was only like twenty. So they hadn't really known, like, I was just sitting there on my own. Families at eight, six, twelve in the corner, and four. Just, and I'm know, sitting there fucking talking into the yeah, turkey cranberry sauce. Oh, they had the full booner. I'd rather sit myself and go with Anthony Stratton's house. Uh-huh, when you back with a manager's house. But how good that for him? Oh, that was amazing. Good, how awkward would that be? That's the side uh, of football people that I see to, like, you aye. think it's amazing. But over Christmas, you sitting Christmas in a pub on your own eating your Christmas dinner. What was worse, Christmas or New Year for you? I, I remember getting up Christmas morning at half seven to go into Celtic like Park to train and you you knew you weren't even going to play the next uh, day, do you know what I mean? Your mum and dad were up to these six, seven, seventeen hours. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. It's man. murder if you're not going to play, but uh, but sometimes I quite enjoyed it. I did it. I quite liked going to uh-huh. train on Christmas Day. Would you do it? As a manager, would no. you put that? No. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, change I'm saying when I was, I was single at that time, uh, I didn't It's mind. different when you're single, you don't have the, for, the kids uh, and that. When the kids are there, you're like, mm. uh, it's, it is tough, but... It's but a sacrifice you just, you You've just took a, a wee memory there, a table for one. That's what happened with uh, Morris Johnson when he signed Buzz Rangers there in Tuscany. He came uh, into the, the, uh, the dining room that, that night in the restaurant and uh, Coyster just the introductions on the table and then he realised there was not a place for him uh, at the big table with us. You went to sat himself? Ah, because we'd set up a wee table for one right away in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you sat there, there mate. <laughs> I loved it more, so he did that. Yeah. It was a good laugh. What about yeah. Christmas dinner? I, I, I can't even ask. I, I'm gonna. I'm not. He's not told me this, but I guess he gets like a Chinese or something on Aye. Christmas day. It must be. <laughs> is it? I used to what is wrong with you? Sweet and sour Hong Kong style. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. My boys are like that. My, my <laughs> boys would have that. Sweet, so. Slaney, the boys would have that. Darn and Ross. Turkey's just too dry. Turkey's far too dry. What? No, it depends. So it, obviously, it's, no, it's, no, it's obviously not cooked very well then. No, it's far too dry. Your mum burns everything, so didn't you? We got a Christmas dinner and it was sizzling on the plate when it came out. Let's sizzle on the plate was roasting or not. None of us could eat it. Yeah, that's good. Still. I like the plate hot. Why though? Because ah, your food, food stays that's warmer sad. for longer. Oh, that's my pet hate with Lynn. We hate to eat night. She puts the plates in the oven and I just go and pick them out. You're like, fuck, why is he fucking hot? <laughs> who, who has hot plates? I know, it's fucking baffling to me. Oh, I can't, can't take to that at all. Yeah. And, br- and then nah. the Brussels sprouts are just oh, Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts mate. They don't it's even taste anything. I like the hot plates. No, I still don't like the hot plates. Ah. What's, what's, like what's, 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 what's your Christmas dinner? What's your Christmas dinner? What's your Christmas dinner? Everything, mate. Give me absolutely mm. fire. See, in the. start, full Christmas dinner, soup, prong cocktail, Christmas dinner, sticky toffee. Aye, see, in the. If we go to the in laws' big farmhouse. They don't, uh, we don't need Christmas dinner. I've told him the last day, we don't need dinner till about seven o'clock at night because the boys are out that stay in the farm. Still oh. got to, still got to feed the beast, tell you know. So, uh, you uh, while I'm feeding your beast, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should spend the full two days milking cows, don't it? Aye, and uh, I'm not allowed on the farm. They asked me to open a gate one day and I opened up at the wrong side and took it off the hinge. <laughs> <laughs> Milton Milton the Bulls. Milton the Bulls, and the wee pigs in blankets are outrageous. Oh, They're good. And they make the other yeah. ones that they like for the Christmas dinner. Like, what are you for Christmas dinner? See, I can't believe you just describe that. It's exactly me. Like you cocktail? Aye, I love a wee aye. A wee bit of salmon. Oh, I smoke salmon. I have yeah, my breakfast in the morning, we can have champagne. Champagne? No, there's something ha- that's weird. I mean, that champagne is weird. And, 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 and uh, salmon for breakfast? Uh-huh. Maybe no something. Bit of scrambled eggs. Sparkly you white. Fry up. Wh- nah, a prosecco with a wee touch of orange fresh Aye. orange or something. Kids get a slur. Think of the heat with a wee fake wine. That's straight in my straight. We get two scumbags. We get a bottle of apple tizer every year. <laughs> no, but we don't buy any. It's like a special drink for Christmas Day. Aye. Apple tizer? Aye. But they started bringing it out Merlin Schultz so they've killed our routine. Because we used to, you should never get it anywhere. <laughs> you you uh, don't have me drink Christmas dinner. Aye, aye. Oh, what was it? Your meal, slow gin. Oh, my meal would be they have uh, they obviously kidney soup. Sounds strange, but she likes a kidney soup, and then it'll be there'll be prawn cocktail or liver ah, chicken soup? liver party homemade. Oh, no, nice. no bought in Sour proper dough. homemade. Oh, mate. Uh, and I swear to God, it's the best ever. So with that, and then they'll have like the what do you call the toast that goes with the no, the, no, it's not like toast. The kind of it's like the 
Oh, I can't describe it. Anyway, so we go to, then we're getting, it's like a kind of like conveyor belt, so all the bits are up, you just go around oh, and help yourself. Brilliant. But like your sushi? But it just goes oh, around. Nah, it just goes around. In front of me. The best bits is... Uh, is it moving around? It's the, 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 <laughs> the homemade stuff in the hand makes. Ski oh, electrics, oh moving around the ski electrics. I don't think you'll taste it. Ski electrics. Ski electrics and move it around. The best stuff. bit about it is uh, the cranberry sauce. What, the best thing you're hoping to do in the cranberry just sauce? To just to top everyone in with a bit of cranberry, turkey, cranberry, ro roasted parsnips. They've got to be the best veg ever. I can that'd be amazing, his food and his sauce. It looks huge. And then uh, yeah, finish off with yeah. like a <laughs> pavlova. <laughs> finish off with a pavlova or something. Oh, you're selling this. Salivating you're selling this. Well, can uh, we meet? I've I'm got actually really hungry. Christmas night. Night. Christmas night. coming up to Christmas, Christmas night. We're up to Christmas night. But can you some of you come up or not? But, but I don't know if you can come up because he met my sister in law yesterday and he was an absolute nervous wreck, man. She sat like next to me. I could see him like that. Pure edgy man. Get that man. He blew. Did he like get on a ticket? Is that Steph's sister? Look her. I had to look at you feel like you're fresh off? He gets nervous in front of you. Was it Aurora? Uh, she was so close to him. It was where she sat. I don't know why she did that. Right. She sat right next to him and he was, I could see. It was a full couch. It was a full couch. She came and sat right beside him. So I was just like, did it fuck up? Fuck, see what's happening here then. Horrible. But I'll see her Christmas night. All right. No, no, just teach her. Right, we're going to. Would you hear an Iron Brew Christmas day? I definitely. Always. 100%. Wait, I'd hear an Iron Brew. When would you hear it? I don't know why you're going to. I'd hear that at night time. I'd hear that maybe after. When the nibbles come out? Aye. And the nibbles, the kids would love the cutlet of the iron brew um, with the. Yeah, what's your favourite dip with the nibbles? Got to be sour, sour, sour cream, cream and garlic. Aye. Nibbles. Your, it's dead awkward though, isn't it? I think Christmas Day is dead awkward when you, after you're in dinner with your family, you then go and meet the rest of the family. I think that's terrible. I don't, that. Do I don't move. I don't, I don't move either. Does anybody come up? Stay put. Aye, aye sometimes. Aye. My man, Dad would drop in. Carol's man, Dad. What no. does he hear of us, man? Uh, they, I think the Jim and that and that side of the family have the. Uh, stay up there in the rain, wee bit and all that. The rain, we can ask, we can ask for Christmas dinner. I tell you what, <laughs> no, take me out. <laughs> that's, that's a good, actually a good point, man. That's what you could get him for his Christmas, can it? Do you play the games Christmas night? Need a real shavers, wouldn't it? Need a bit of lawn, Morty. I'll have a fucking lawn, Morty. Shave that thing. Big pair of shears. Here we go. Uh, Together with Iron Brew, we are presenting you another episode of What The Football Moments. Kevin, what do you think? A, a partnership, open goal with Iron Brew, I don't think there's any bigger if you can think of two, can well, you? Uh, I don't know, when Iron Brew did the partnership with the snowman, that was a, Aye, that's a great partnership. I've been saying that for four years, I want to replicate that advert. Do you know what? I'm I'm really, there. How could you get oh, that? That'd be good. How could class. you do it? I was thinking of this, right, try and get some mate, like, I'll the boy in it. I'm working with Iron Brew, right? But I don't think it's like a snowman. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can float eye. You just take one day, go and try it now. I reenact that. Just not fly oh, yourselves across that. Who's your snowman? Aye. I'm the snowman. What do we do after that? You're just sitting Sing there like me. No, but what I think, how can we recreate that actual. Just told you. In the, not in the sky, though. Oh, right. uh, um, Is there anybody in a fucking some size of crane to get him up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like a, it'd be like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we'll need to get, we'll need to speak to Iron Brew about it and see how we can recreate that. Because remember Iron Brew had those amazing adverts. So you're talking about the snow. I remember it was my even though I used to be a man. That oh, and my uncle, my granny, Fanny, you know. Remember that? Uh, oh, they, they oh, oh their adverts were brilliant, weren't they? The one in the, the hospital and all that as well. Aye, they're brilliant. Mm -hmm. Do you know the most so views ever Iron Brew advert? Joker man. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> what the football moment? So what was your favourite? What would you done? Would you done, you done Roger Miller, you done Gaza getting Gaza. crying, Rivaldo getting hit with the ball, Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo. Aye. Any other big moments we missed we could recreate? You've said that in it, Wacky Mo smell on his boys. Aye. Aye. You're good at that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Could do the, Aye. what do you call Havoc hit the crossbar? Snapped it in half. Ball cup. What was that, Derek? Come on, talk to us. Diana Ross. Snapped Diana it. Ross. Somebody else has mentioned that, wasn't they? She, hit the, that she one? hit the penalty and the crossbar snapped in half. I don't remember it. The opening ceremony. Uh -huh. Do you know what I'm interested in? His thoughts Michael that. Beale. Really? Yeah, not, I was, can can I, I, we spoke about Michael Beale the other day. It was a wee bit mixed in the, the panel, wasn't it? Yeah. Who's on the panel? Me, Fadi, Sam, Kev. Uh -huh. um, I was, was a wee bit mixed on it. I was, a wee, bit, in I was a wee bit underwhelmed, I've got to be honest, when the point was made. Uh, but I've kind of maybe changed my tune a wee bit. Right. Because uh, no, I've listened to him. No, I've listened to a couple of the interviews that he's done. Or, or the one, I think it's with, with, with Sky. I was very impressed by the way. very well, didn't he? he, he said, but I know, and I get that, you know, a lot of people there in front of the media speak very well, but just listening to him, you know, his role at Rangers 
first time round was totally different for uh, what I thought. You know, on the outside looking in, you're thinking he's a coach, he's in amongst the players and all that. But he says he was very disciplined in, in his approach to coaching, always with Gerard. The other kind of coaches were in the dressing room, so he was maybe a kind of wee bit more aloof yeah, yeah, for no, the rest of us, which I didn't, which I didn't get. So it was quite good to hear, but. Just listening to him, there was a, a hunger about him, yeah. a desire, uh, about a fighting talk, fighting talk, uh, totally different for, for what Gio was, you yeah. know. And I think he then, believes he can, he can do something, got, can't he? That, and that's what probably comes across in that interview. Yeah. He's got a lot of belief in himself. Mm -hmm. So as I know he's got that relationship with Ross Wilson and there's a lot out there about the recruitment and that the, the jury's still out on that. But that interview that he'd done, you know, it's just kind of changed. He probably mind answered a lot of questions that Rangers fans were unsure of. And he answered, yeah, by the way, and he was banging, but he, he had, there was a positivity about him. Mm. You know, he, he understands where we are at the moment in terms of we need to get after Celtic. You know, it was it's all reversal because he, when he left Rangers, they were in a position that they were the top dogs. Mm. Now Celtic are the top dogs, and we all acknowledge that. So it's that mentality. That he's got to install into these players, and it's for day one. He's and he's got to install that, but also there's players to come back. That he's going to tweak uh, certain things. There's a lot of uh, the, the questions out there. The fans, myself, want to know about why so many injuries. So I think he's the, when he was given that uh, interview, he was addressing all that sort of stuff. So it just gives you a wee bit of belief, mm -hmm. positivity, and it, it kind of goes back to Ange when Ange post the goggle come in. I was thinking, well, we didn't really know the guy. Aye, and Celtic like, fans are a bit underwhelmed, not they? Aye, and it was kind of like, and look how that aye, that's, turned yeah. out. You know, he's, he's been phenomenal. Yeah. So is, aye, Iron Brew, phenomenal. That's interesting to hear when you like. said that, that he's not the type of coach that was in with the players. No, really? I wonder if he was planning long term that he'd eventually come back. He did say that. He said he was and the that's what it looks players. like with him, aye. You know, it, like it's if he was plan planning to become a manager. And aye, he's aye. Probably, he probably understood that at some point Gerard would move on and his opportunity would arise, so... He maybe like he seems to be very forward thinking. Like Aye. he talked about planning a year's strategy in advance, mm. Mm. and I'm like, if you're doing that for a year's advance, when you're going to have days off at certain points of the year, surely you must be able to then think, see, in a year's time, if Stevie does go and get a better job, mm -hmm. this job could come to me. So yeah. I need to plan as if I'm going to maybe come back here. See, you never know. And it's just guesswork. Looking and listening to him in that role, you, you've got it right, and you were probably doing that before you took care of it. Uh, Broom Hall, he has, he was already he had that mindset. I'm right. going to be a manager. I he was like, but then managers are kind of like real hands on in terms of training. I mean, the early years when I was at clubs, I don't know what happened with you guys. That uh, the coaches would be taking a session, but if the manager wasn't happy with it. Step he in. Step, yep. Steps in, gets his point across. No, maybe he was uh, going to be a wee bit more like that, but uh, no, I was really impressed with him. To be honest with you, well, I'm I think it definitely does make it better because Aye. he's. He, He's got to get more out of Kent. He'll get more out of Tavernier. Morelos. I think the style he's, he plays is suit the, the players that he's got. He's addressed there too. Yeah. You know, he's obviously got a, a relationship with Ryan Kent. He's known, known him since 14. Not just Ryan, but his whole family. So you would imagine you start to get a tune out of him. Yeah. Morelos, different kettle of fish for me because uh, he says that Obviously, he knows Morelis really well, but yeah. Morelis is a hit and a miss for me. You know, yeah. how long can you put up with that? You know, we, as Rangers fans, we get a wee bit uh, annoyed, a wee but bit fed a, up with him. But for a know. good time under Gerard, he, was, he wasn't a hit and miss, was he? There was a time where, where he was on Aye. it for a good... And there was a time when he wasn't on it. They were talking about there was a time when he wasn't on it, and I remember pound. that. So, and, and I think they, they were... Uh, I would imagine they were at him a few times. So Morelis is a man, but I could I could certainly see Kent. But and then the good thing is in that interview that he's going to address the situation very quickly, first week, ten days, have a look at him. He says which I, I loved as well, not just shooting the training field, speak to them, a look in their eyes. And I think that's the best thing you, you see once you have a one to one with somebody, you get a feel for them. You know whether they're on board or not, and whether people are, are, are at it or just kidding you on. I just kind of liked it. I got mm -hmm. a good feel about that. Yeah. I didn't, as a, a, a punter for the outside looking in, but once you see that interview, it gives you a, a good bit of hope. Aye, I think it's, it's really good. I, it's refreshing mm -hmm. as well to see that he's not back in the English Premier League. Aye, and come, that's really good because I mean, a lot of you in the last couple of years, our managers do well here mm -hmm. and go to the Premier League. And it's he, good that he's not. And he back. understands the pressure. Yeah. He, he knows that up here, you know, second. 
he actually says it in an interview second is last yeah. it's nae good which he isn't like a modern day coach like, doesn't he use all the the new fancy terms I think he very much speaks like a I like, I like to I think the, he's got a good balance between I like that. to like when he rattled off who his staff were coming in I see his staff coming in they've got like huge experience in the game I think of that guy that worked with Arsene Wenger for nearly 20 mm-hmm. you know 20 years but he's been at Arsenal right. for 20 years Nigel Winterburn it was no it? is it Har- Hartland or something mm. and he's like has it, a lot of his player, uh, coaching staff that he's brought in have played the game and I'm thinking because yep. obviously Beal maybe hasn't had a career that some of them had but I just think he's brought in experience as well to help so mm-hmm. it looks like the foundations are good he's obviously got to hit the ground running that's the thing mm-hmm. and I, sometimes we get kind of lost and oh you want the big name to come in you know somebody that gets the juices flowing but uh, and that's how I felt a wee bit underwhelmed but then listening to him then you're like ah, this guy's mm. got, it, it just feels to me he's got a wee bit of something about him I've said like Rangers ever going to get big names in again though with the way yeah, football is now no. I, I think they need to look outside the box when it comes Aye. to new managers now I, I think sometimes and it's it's maybe horrible to say and a lot of fans will, will disagree with what I'm going to say can be a stepping stone to getting a, a good job oh, doing in England you know uh, but I don't think I need the big names anymore no the days are like mm. pointing as soon as a Brendan Rodgers no I don't think Celtic and Rangers need that I think mm. all, all, I think it's got to a point now where I don't think either team cares who the manager is I think if the results and Set. performances are Set tip top I don't think it really is irrelevant mm. how well can you do Derek this, this season Bill? do you think well, I, I, personally I think it's maybe uh, it'd be a huge ask Huge. huge. That word. Huge, huge. I've not had that in years. Yeah, there you go. I thought huge. I was just bring it because it is, you know, because Celtic, oh, hey, they're in a strong position. You know, there's a lot of confidence about them. But uh, no, I think we even get a cup. You know, there was a cup there. I, I just think it's too big a ass for Rangers. Mm. You know, but you can get the Rangers bang on side. You've, you you win that first old firm game. I start, but that was the other thing. Sorry. It, it, he, he keeps touching on the style, the style of play that uh, under Geo it became methodical. Oh, it, adds, it did, I know, yeah. it did become, you know, and you know, my boys were coming back in on a Saturday night and I'm like, how was the game? We won. He says, ah, dad, but I says, what's the matter? I'm like, it didn't really get me going. And I think he knows that and he's going to address that as well. So it's like Celtic, Celtic play an, exi- an exciting style of football. He's going to hopefully exciting, the same yeah, yeah, It's going to be really exciting. Now the hero of the World Cup is Jason Cummins. They're now playing oh, Argentina's brilliant. Messi. Play, I think he's played about 30 seconds. But it's a brilliant 30 seconds. All over Instagram. A brilliant what a mental. hero, man. Living the dream, man. Messi's what an incredible play. achievement for Australia. He's I'll tell you who's a disgrace that got through Poland against Argentina. Oh, Have you ever was, seen a performance like that in your life? Mate, they should have been beat 12 yesterday. But what were they doing? They couldn't the get the touch. Aye, because they were just, they wanted to keep it in do you know that's when my message was saying to me right let's get the tree out let's get the decorations up and all that and at, at half time I'm like I went day man he's peace do you know what I mean <laughs> I'm wanting to shut and watch a farmer right but I'm quite glad I started uh-huh. aye getting the tree out and getting the decorations done because that was a shocker aye wasn't poor it? poor uh, poor like. Argentina doesn't need a chance I don't think you won enough I was wanting Argentina to score of but course Argentina, I didn't I thought they had a lot of chances now they, they did they did, did, did they should have won about I mean, five or six uh, Messi missed the penalty as well I know uh, I think it's a hard one to call who I think. they beat Australia didn't they oh. I know well, and yeah, then it was yeah. coming didn't they uh, wasn't it not just goal difference yeah like yeah, yeah, too much too much thinking for me what could you do though so see on that it was going to go to yeah like then it was going to go draw a hat but what could you do there because you need to do it fair we need, we need to come up with something. You can't go with yellow cards, eh? Biggest. Manager who's got the biggest money. Well, it goes through. Two managers come out. Two best for I. Two managers. Set us up, man. Right, you. Up the road. Who's got the biggest bobby? Aye, yeah. <laughs> managers. We need to come down that, wasn't it? Oh, oh no, that was a big Saudi Arabia went up and scored anyway, didn't they? Oh, aye. 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 Uh-huh. But then, even if. See, even, <laughs> see, after that, though, see if they'd still scored. If uh-huh. Mexico still scored, they were then through. Because uh-huh. Tat, we Tat, and Martino get going like that one more goal. Uh-huh. So then you sack the small one. Goal scored. You tag it, sack the small one. That's why I don't know what you're doing that. That's why I'm going to be tiny with him. Guaranteed Cummins will get Messi's top somehow. Uh-huh. Oh, he'll go up to him before he'll the game. He'll be the type, won't uh-huh. he? He'll go in your dressing before right, the game and get that. Some of that, won't he? Uh-huh. Gives you a wee buzz when you just even see him on the bench. He's got a good point. You know, he was good. He was good. rules for Hearts. I told you. Ah. Slot him. He's a Kai Rose. Holy fuck, Rip, monster. Rip, Rip, mate. Nice. Monster. Oh, mate, Australia actually were good. I thought when De- we've watched Denmark yeah, against Scotland, you're like, we've been saying they're a top side. They don't have a top side of Australia. And the boy, they're the not. boy, um, 
Harry Souter is excellent. Uh, I was just going to mention him because obviously his brother. Uh, excellent. At, at Rangers, see, yeah. aye. His brother. Ranger signed the wrong suit. <laughs> no, because John's outrageous and all. Uh, John's, John's a crackpot. I know, John's just done lucky injuries. See, they're Moy's fit. brilliant, isn't he? They're players. Oh, he's amazing. What do you uh, think on that day? Wait, I'm sure I've got a podcast where you said you're not having a... Harry Moy? Aye. Is that? Try to back my set, fans, isn't it? What do you think on, like, Harry Souter being Australian and John Souter being a Scottish? What do you think of that? Uh, it doesn't... Well, I'll be honest, because it's done my nut in the other years. Do you think, so like, has, also, also the other thing is, like, looking at Grealish and Rice... Played by Ireland the whole, right. whole Man, youth night level. Grealish and Rice Grealish were playing with Ireland played, up to 21s. I think they played with the first team. Republic Friendly. High and then Friendly and Keen, then switched Roy to England last minute. Up. Roy Keane wrote no, that up. Aye. Did you know that? No. Aye. 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 So, that, so for me, I'm that looking that at it thinking, right, okay. I think the rule I'm is Scottish, I'm Scottish, I'm born here. My mum and dad's Scottish. You come through the system, you come through the school and you're in the system where it's academies. You should, you should be only. I remember Andy for Driver. Sport. For me, uh, I don't like that. that uh, your granny, uh, your uncle, because he, he, he'd come to Scotland for know. five years. He was allowed to play for Scotland. You need to tell a classy story. What classy? That's a good one. That's oh, for fuck's in sake. line with what I've said here. <laughs> Obviously, after the last podcast, we went for a wee coffee and a toasty, and uh, we're talking about me faddy. We're talking about the Bertie Vokes days. And I says, fucking made some players, didn't we? Who says, made the players again? <laughs> I says, uh, it says, and thanks, Lenny. He asked me, he's really that bad. I says, aye. I says, you think a fucking Robbie Stockdale try to hit a diag to me? I yeah, says, it's Robbie Stockdale. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. And uh, so I says, remember Nigel Quasi came up London or West Ham, playing West Ham. Good huh? player, really huh? good player. And he came up and he's proper. Oh, I like, oh, 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 lads. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right, all right, Nigel. Hey, that's me. Back down the fucking road. West Ham, international premiership player. I'm the fucking going to get loads of money now. <laughs> That's, that's the reason why he was there. That's he, the thinking, isn't it? They may have that in their contract as well. Oh, you yeah, get caps, no. international. That's what happens. I'm not you saying that was the, the main reason, uh, but fucking it was extra one of them. Telling you, uh, that might be enough. We don't, you don't know. Oh, that. That's been my Christmas. The accents are back. But big Harry suit off on me. Uh, see what used to, Bert, they would see what Bertie used to say back to him in his German accent. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> He just loved James. <laughs> you said he would just James, Fadi, didn't he? Where is James? This is James. Good. James is missing. Where is he? <laughs> that was that morning. Obviously, Fadi went missing. Uh -huh. Turned up. Uh -huh. Bertie was absolutely distraught. He was Bertie's blue-eyed boy. Was he? Aye, he was the nation's blue-eyed boy then because he just burst out the scene. Had the wee Sorry. ponytail in the back and the red strip through the hair. He was. A wee bit of Welsh in there. I don't know what was. And they done my nut in by the way. Can I just have a wee hang of it? Welsh done my nut in. I you're, didn't even know if it was that hey, game. Kev, your, your mate, uh, uh, wait, PJ. Welsh. They were murder. They, they never were laid a finger on them. They were murder. That's what? surprising. They were murder police. I know. See all this, you see all this, you see all the team talks and all that, and like, I was fired up. And then they go and they produce that. They just sat after them, let them get comfortable, comfortable in the game, let them pop the ball out. Give me peace. I think they all get in a bit. Medicine never even was booting fuck it, people. Mate, they were terrible. Like, they were terrible. terrible. Uh, they were really I bad. I didn't but... enjoy that. that nah, was... they're really... Right, move on. Aye. Was... So can't you? You're saying Messi can I win the World Cup? I don't think Argentina can do it. The only thing I'm going to say is, oh no, I don't think. But their their run, their draws is actually quite favourable. Uh, so who they got? After this? I think it's Holland and I... the, the the quarters maybe, but Holland are in great shape. Who's Holland playing? In the last 16. Aye. Has it been decided yet? Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. That would be a tough one. Tim Weir! <laughs> that would be a tough one for Did Holland. Did you see Pooh some shot? chance, haven't they? Yeah. USA. Aye, they have, haven't they? <laughs> we can win. We can win. <laughs> Come on, be a better one than that. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> that, that is it. Who put a lot of thought into that? And that's something that licking me in the eye. We can win. <laughs> Fucking Is that that boy that's Magic? in the crowd? Well done. Is, is, that, that, well done. is that, that boy that's in the crowd shouting back to the crowd? <laughs> that is I've seen well, that video. Pulisic lifted that. Pulisic well, lifted his shut up and said, it's called soccer. Did you? <laughs> Well, I'm like, oh my oh. god. He should be sent in for the World Cup. He should be sent to him. Uh -huh. And I'm only going to say. He's a good player to yeah, play. I mean, he's getting a lot of interest now for the other Premiership clubs. Uh, Man U. Man U, Arsenal looking at him. Take him at Man U in a minute. I like Pulisic. Right. He's not playing for Chelsea. Yeah. We play. can. But uh, Argentina, I think they can, I so think they can win it. I thought they were very impressive last night. Did you? Even so against yeah. Poland. Although Poland were, I get that. Poland were. Even up to that last 20 minutes when Poland just down tools. Messi was good. I thought they were good. Aye. Uh -huh. I thought aye. Messi was good. We fell up front as well. Missed a couple of opportunities. Alvarez. Alvarez, Alvarez. Aye. 
Well, Alvarez, I think it was Alvarez, wasn't it? Nah, he's aye. Man but, uh, hey, they'll get better as well. They'll become more oh, comfortable yeah. in the tournament. I've got a wee aye. What, I would love that. What about Messi uh, disrespecting Lewandowski? Aye, that? that was aye. That was, that, 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 why didn't Messi do that? Like, like, and fuck he just, off. Aye. What would you have done? We can't win. We gave them a slap. We can't win. I'm going to stick your nut in you. I'm going to stick your nut in you. Aye. Lewandowski. But that's a, that's a worse chant out, isn't it? Lewandowski must be ah, what the fuck what? am I playing with here? He was buzzing after the game, man. <laughs> he was like, aye, going mental. Because I was flicked back out. Uh, aye, he feels buzzing. Him, aye, and then he was, wasn't he? Aye. Why, after that? Did you see a wee glass of red putting the tree up? No, no, I should have. No, that's the day, 1st of December, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yes, let's crack on. Starts the day. Aye. Got a wee balance. Aye, and I saw your thing. What did you get in the advent calendar this morning, Stevie? Was it the day? No, I didn't feel that. That was a Christmas tree. The chocolate Christmas tree this morning. You've done. You were sensational. Good eye acting was really good. Aye. 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 I'm going on a panto. Just Are you going on a panto? You should. Aye, know, I there you go. Let's be Les Dennis. He does panto, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> Les Dennis does panto. Aye. <laughs> that. Oh he no, he doesn't. He chuggles. He chuggles. He chuggles. He chuggles. He's going to watch this. He chuggles. Do you like panto? I've, do you know where they go? That's how you. Uh, Poor a father I've been all the years. I don't think I've took my boys ever to a panto. A nah, good? panto just didn't for me. Nah, nah. Just didn't do nothing for me. I don't know. Right, listen, <laughs> there you go. Australia have been really good. We've got a guy that actually played in Australia briefly. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. right there. How was it? I was, I made a mistake. Huh? I was at Thistle at the time under John Lambie. And then I get this. I, I thought it was a, a good opportunity. It was a usual. Uh, when I was speaking to a, a certain guy, I'll not mention his name. I know who it is. There was, I was told I would get X amount of money, I would be putting, I'd get a house, I'd be bringing the family over uh, after two or three weeks. Uh, and as soon as I got off the plane, the money was <laughs> near the same. I wasn't the getting main house, I was in this wee grotty <laughs> hotel, by the way. Put you in uh, but the biggest thing was, uh, honest Kev, I missed the wins. Honestly, I, I missed the wins. I was there for about what, six, seven weeks. I, I, at that time, a Yugoslavian coach who was an absolute beaut, by the way. So he was. Well, you weren't allowed to talk during a warm up. You, <laughs> you would get fined. Now, in a warm up, you're jogging along, a bit of stretching, a bit of banter, having a, telling a few stories. Nothing. You had to be quiet. Uh, then I get the one. I don't. Have I told you about that? Like, like switch a play when you. I mean, you're switching the play. Midfield, and I'm, hey, I'm 30 at the time. You know, I've been playing the game uh, quite a wee while. I, I used to think, if I'm going to switch the play, you're a winger, I'm getting it to you. I want to get it to you as early as possible so you Punch can in. get it under control and get your uh, fullback, the full back, a defender, whatever. Uh, no, he, he was showing me how to, it was a loop ball I had to play. <laughs> The loot ball. I'm going, what the fuck's a loot ball? You know, and he was showing me what part of the fit. Yeah, anyway, I thought he was at it. I thought he was having a laugh with me and all that. So, but uh, I just, I, so I kind of lost the ball. Part. He didn't like when one time I came out onto the training park, because we're training in a big park and there was flaming, flamingos on the, the crossbar. What do you I, mean? Well, I tried to take a few out, didn't I, with the ball. <laughs> Why are there flamingos on the crossbar? Because it's Australian, you get things like that, <laughs> kicking about. You don't get flamingos. There's a kangaroo for the right You were steaming that. Day, there, I went, no, <laughs> no. And dead said, and when I'd, uh, the, the thing was, I'd said to him a day before, because I was sitting, and there was a wee tiny pool, and I stayed right next to a park, and uh, all I could hear was, and it's this time of year, I know, I could hear jingle bells, jingle bells. And I stood up and lit on my sunbed and all that. Uh, and I looked across and there was all the kids, school kids underneath and there was a fire engine, Santa, Santa Claus was there, full thing. And then just homesick, man. Oh, oh man. I was like, I need to get him to my boys and my missus. I did, aren't genuinely. No, you just go. What? Just go. Aye. Uh, well, did aye. you say I'm off? I'm not coming back. Aye, well, we weren't getting on well. I was never going to get on well after the loop ball episode. Did so. you keep doing the loop ball when you came in? <laughs> no, I didn't. I know. Just, <laughs> so what was a loop ball? Just, just clip it. Just clip it in. I'm, that's totally different from what I was taught. I was always taught early. Ping it. Fire it. Clip it. So you get a chance the guy will come in there. <laughs> Was there any good characters earlier in the team? Players? <laughs> well, what, I can't even, uh, right, it's that long ago I can't remember his name, but one of the Aussie boys, I mean, he was he was running the show, so he was. Good player, huh? Aye, but I, I didn't really, he didn't really take to me, I didn't take to him, because you weren't supposed to tackle him. 
uh, and train it. Didn't like it. What did you go to? Yo, I just went and smashed them. Was it Australian rules that boy you were playing? <laughs> what was the team? Well, Adelaide, Adelaide Force at that time. <laughs> so it was. They've, they've changed that a few a few times. So uh, you horned there? It wasn't. What? Did you get horned there then? No, no. I got angry over there. Just angry. Oh, aye, it? and I'd be a bit peed off. And the best guy at the club was a kit man. Kit man was uh, he was different gravy. Uh, he helped us at the time. I remember him taking us to the airport. I was like, get me the down fuck? there as quick as. Where did you stay? Give him a watch. The watch you? at that time. Because I, I was like, I'm going to go there. And I was like, well, I gave him. And, and, and I'd say to my team, he says, I'll, I will be back here. I'll come back out here. <laughs> we have vengeance. No, I never know. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him a watch. I says, thanks. Because he was a great wee lad. As you get all the clubs, kit isn't it? Kit men are absolutely brilliant. Did you, you get know. down the beach in that? I got took down the beach. Aye. Like, we were a wee bit. Back for the beach, so you had to get a motor and all that to get in there. Things in the sea. So, <laughs> things in the sea. I would get in the sea. I'd, shark, sharks and all that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you stay in a I hotel? Even against Strathclyde Park and that. Did you stay in a hotel? Aye, and it was, uh, it was tough. You ought to see the hotel initially they put us in. It was a shocker. <laughs> so, nah, so it was like, just imagine it. It wasn't a hotel, it was a hostel. No <laughs> wife and kids there, it was only one thing you were doing all day. It's a wee babe station, wasn't it? And I, I get it. It's, <laughs> it, it's lonely. I, I found it. <laughs> 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 you ever heard one and watch your uh, neighbours? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, good one. <laughs> but, uh, nah. So, maybe. It, it wasn't for me. Australia never never worked out. There you go. Right, right. You be teaching the boys a look box training. Go to England. <laughs> That's what you're doing tonight. On to England. What about them? Anybody see look shot getting shot on me about? Aye. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Hey, that stupid. You, I wish it'd have been somebody that was shitting on them. By the way, on it, somebody up the tree. Just there you go. Take it. Imagine that, I'm a bit on the bump, wasn't it? Go on his, on his head? I reckon he's an apper. Oh, I wish it wasn't his head. Did they ever shit on him? Pigeon. Aye. They were all pissing off the old England boys. The pigeon got him. What, so everyone actually stopped and noticed it? Aye, so they were sitting on a table having dinner. All the England boys and a uh, bird was up a tree. And just shit right in his shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look sure not anymore. <laughs> they can do it. No, they can't do it. No, I'm going to tell you, I think, I'll be serious here. I, I think they're it. I think Senegal beat them. Do you think Senegal are good, aren't they? Don't think they're missing Manny, obviously, but they're still a really good team. Really so, good team. So do you think they'll win it or do you think they'll go out next game? If they they'll get put out next, but if they win that they might win it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I'm saying for every team if they well, win this? Do you know whoever wins the World Cup at the end of this? He's got I said them. Uh, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Every single what do you think, Kev? Do you think they want it? They I think they've got a chance, aye. Yeah, right. I think um, defensively, that big Harry Maguire, to be fair to him, he's took some stick. He's, he's been playing really well. Yeah, because he's got a time and space on the ball. But then you've got Walker. Got against him. Walker up one side him now. Uh, stones it. Stones there uh, as well. Good players, I get that. Mm. And then I just look at like Declan Rice, whatever anybody thinks of him, he is a decent centre, a holding centre midfielder. And then it's your attacking options. I think that'll be the either the pitfall or it'll be the. Mm. Saving grace. I think if he can get the balance right with how he plays, who he plays going forward, Foden obviously for Foden's me. Got to play, Foden's got to play. I think Rashford G- for me. Grealish for me. I love what, what, Grealish. What, what mm-hmm. like, major. Grealish a bit of I, 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 I like no. Grealish. Uh, Grealish would always be my side. Just because he's got that wee bit different. I and no one away there. No. I would give him a bit of and freedom it, to let him roam uh, because what, I think can't he's can't score a goal. Score. What about that tournament? When was, it, when was that club tournament club, that Rashford two goals? came into when he first ah, broke I on like the scene? Grealish, but I mm, and he was brilliant. Was, it, was that the World Cup in 2018, Rashford? Sure. It might have been he broke on, he was brilliant. I just look at Rashford now and think he, he's got a wee swagger in his, nah, he's got his again, stride. Man. I just think that him at the top, his performance, he, he's a really good footballer. Yeah. And I know Harry Kane... He wants Kane, to run in behind. I know Harry Kane drops in, he's good at I know Harry Kane's no scoring goals, but... From a selfish point of view, watching what he does off the ball in terms of holding mm. it up, bringing players in, get, he actually is getting turned and driving at people, and that's allowing space for other people because it's taken a couple of guys to actually maybe hold them down. But I, I don't know. I just think they've got they've always every two they go to they've got the, like a great squad because mm. they've got quality players all over. It's just about it'll, their downfall will be their manager yeah. if he gets it right. They've got a chance if you just not get it right. I think that's then, a great shout. I, th- I genuinely, I genuinely believe that they players. Would you play with it? You think Kev, go 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 Kev. squad for squad <clears throat> with each team. You talk about Argentina last night. Messi. Who else have we got in that squad that you go wow? Di Maria. Right, Di Maria. But he's no firing all cylinders at that time. Then go back to England and we go right. Okay, they've, they've not got a Messi, but they've got a Foden. They've got a Saka. They've got a Grealish. They've got um, Kane. who? Kane. Kane. They've got they've got loads. 
So it's just a case of how do you fit and I, them in? I think you make a good point because I think he's a wee bit reserved in the way he wants to play instead of sometimes letting the guys. He's go went three and five. Let them went, he used to go. Was it three three at the back? Five three, three, back, three five one back, one right? type thing or three yeah, whatever yeah. it is. He's went four three three. So that's him kind of like I would say coming out of his shell a wee bit, mm -hmm. but at the same time still being a bit reserved. Mm -hmm. So like if they're being defensive, it could come a four five one. But he's looking, making it look like a four-three-three, three, and I just think how that's why he probably Foden didn't start a two game because he's thinking England have got a better squad than France. No. Well, what I watched, I watched France squad last night aye. in the, against Tunisia. Squad wise, squad that second aye. team France last night. France are a wee bit aye. Whereas the if they don't bones. have their main eleven on the park, on then yeah. whereas with England, you say you get an injury to um, say you get an injury to Kane, right? And I'll go this. Oh, uh, this is my opinion. You get an injury to Kane, you get an injury to Foden, you get an injury to. Say Declan Rice, uh, right? Right, but what you can do is you could put Callum Wilson in there. Probably they just no, maybe not the same level of players Kane, mm -hmm. but can do that role because the players run about him. You take out Ford, you can put in Grealish. You know when they were Callum Wilson up front. Take take out Rice, you could put in uh, Henderson as a sitting midfielder. Mm. He's done, I think. I know, but he still will do an unbelievable job there. Whereas with France last, if you think of France, take out Giroud, take out Mbappe, point. take out the other, uh, say uh, Dembele. And they're any of the three they, that played last night, you're not swapping any of them for any of them. Yeah, I played last night, I never seen Oh, it was awful. I don't even know. Kingsley Coleman played. They were, they were poor. Nah, and they and they and I just think in strength and depth. So he's right. I think you're right. It's easy to say that when it's a dead rubber. If they players were playing in a game bet, to go no, through, no, that, that that should be For these boys, they were given an opportunity. No, I guess. And by the way, they were terrible. They were terrible. He's right. They didn't handle it. No, they did. I just think that I just think if England can get the balance England, right, England they've squad. got a chance. In France, I, the, I think eleven. Your strongest eleven v eleven. I think France just come out and talk. But if you're talking about and they're just talking about injuries, niggles, tiredness, a squad. Right. I think England have got a better squad. Aye. Yeah. You put Kyle Walker up against Mbappe, as good as Mbappe is going forward, and Kyle Walker defending. Why? That's a tough. That's a, you. You look at Mbappe, and like he will probably terrorise most people. But see if you're able to see it was England, France, and you're able to nullify Mbappe. I understand they've got Nimbelli and other players, but that's your main source of attacking and threat. If you can nullify that, whereas I think England have got a great attack. I don't I don't like to say it, but it's, it's yeah. black and white. They've got a yeah. really good squad and good mm. players. Good, right. strong, strong squad. England's that much dire at times. But, that's, that's right, the, but that, what's that down to? The manager. The manager. And that's what he's that's the, that's the point he was And that's the, that's making, England's, England's attitude. It's also got it's a good final point. and a semi final in the last two tournaments. I know, but let's, know. let's, if we go back to the 2020, the right. Euros, they didn't have much on the way. Let's be honest about it. They got the, yeah, uh, they, they weren't expected. The they didn't have much on the way. And the year before that, they should, I think England should be getting to quarterfinals, semifinals, finals every time they play a major tournament. Mm. When was the last England squad that you actually sat and thought, well, if we go, if we, if we do have Belgium, Belgium's had a golden generation, but before that, hopeless, this golden generation will disappear and they might struggle for a few years. Most international teams go through phases of they're up there one minute, they're in the middle of it. England's never been like that. They've always had constantly good players, good players every time they play yeah, a year. English the players Cup. are a wee bit more overrated because in the Premier League, and you see every week in the way they hype them up. I mean, Foden, I think Foden's ball in the world class. I think he's that good, but yeah, yeah. I see guys like Mount and that. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of Mason Mount. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't think, uh, he's a good player, but Rice, I don't know. No world class for me. I don't know what the elite level against Shaw, France Harry Maguire. Uh, See, I don't think they're the, at the elite level to go and beat teams like France and. And it's too early yet. Yeah. Pickford's not a type to make a mistake Pickford's yet. Pickford's Everton goalie, do you know what I mean? That's he's not, he's not, he's not a type to make a mistake yet, but in the big games, he probably will. In his team, he's got a West Ham player, two Man United players, an Everton player. I don't think you see the players type players Rashford, at France. Really Listen, players, but no. They'll get Pap to it maybe the next week and I'll talk home here and say, right, I've talked and shite. Right. This is not on the sheet, but I kind of believe I've no brought it up because I watched, I only seen a wee bit on Sky Sports News yesterday. Have you heard Roberto Martinez try to defend what he's done with the Belgian team? No, in terms you know, of saying, what defend them. better with this, this team? He's like, ah, well, see if you look at it since I've taken over, no. 20 of these players have got their A licence now. Shut up! That's what he said. Did anybody else see that? Did he license as in a yes. coaching badge? A coaching badge. Right. Right, well done. Right. Well done. Yeah, hey, no a way. lot of stuff going on in there, aren't they? Uh -huh. oh, they're all they're all each other. They're, they're, they're all pumping each other. How he's developed like Belgian football as a whole. Oh my god! I was like, wow. Right. 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 Wow. I could rattle off you twenty players that have got their A license. And you're condoning team. All the boys have got their A license now. Fucking hell, I've got them all. They're all doing a level 1.1 in Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's mad. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just caught a wee bit and I was like, surely he's that's not him justifying his time and chance. Did she Kalina talking about the <clears throat> why they're saying there's so much extra time? And he likened it to going to a concert. If you go to a concert, what do you want at the end of it? You want Your an encore? <laughs> you want a concert? <laughs> 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 that as well. Let me get that as well. <laughs> but he says he likened it to an encore. He says that's why you want to see more football. So that's why you're getting like 10 minutes a time added on. Do you know something? Um, you, I quite like I it, it, I know. Because see these teams go through the whole I, game wasting time. time yeah, 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 it's amazing. Aye. An encore. Right. But see, I think... <laughs> Oh, What's the best concert you've been to? Wait, 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 I don't answer oh, that. Oh, wait, aye. What's your favourite concert you've been to? Quick, quick, quick fire, quickly. Best concert I've ever been to? I with Mac. The Hydro. Oh, no. You and your dad went to Slipknot, so did you just not enjoy that? <laughs> it was the Hydro for us. <laughs> wait, was that it? Crack, it was Ron Stewart at Falkirk. Did your dad know days? I'm not a concert type of guy. I've been to two. Ed Sheeran. That was just that. Ed Sheeran. I went to Ed Sheeran. Oh, I couldn't sit through an Ed Sheeran concert. Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, is it? Ah, oh, it was brilliant. Really good. Wee Teddy. Wee old school man. Simple Minds. Oh, Simple oh, Minds. Mick Hopnell. Oh, Sorry, my highway. Don't you ah. forget about me. Ah, they were different gravy. Who would you like Sorry, to see? Who, who would I like to see? Uh, Past or present? Like Frank Sinatra. 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 I'd love to go oh, and sit in a Sinatra. Sinatra. That'll, that'll be a no, no for the like cameras, that one. I did it, but I did it. Summer Wind, Summer Wind, my favourite song. Why does Summer Wind go like? Because mm. <laughs> that, that crowd's for Jim's ass, doesn't it? Summer Wind. <laughs> you get it like that. <laughs> Jim on his holiday. <laughs> so you go as far to that. Tell Jim. Jim. Jim's not happy, is he? Derek's coming here, no one to talk Jim's about Jim. Jim's the life. Uh, seven, I when I was 17, oh, and the Sopranos, it was nah. a very good one. So that was. Past up that would be definitely. Who would yours be? Elvis. Lies. Yeah, Fucking love Elvis. Have you seen the film? Brilliant. No, you like the big manager, the colonel. Elvis or Johnny Cash? <laughs> 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 Not seen it, so I can't comment. But I'm presuming he's a big guy. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking Johnny Cash or Elvis. I think I have seen the first, seen the first 10 minutes. Oh, okay. I don't know. Have you, have you, have you, get it up. Well, get so it up. Do you like Elvis, eh? I love Elvis. Favourite song? In the ghetto. In the ghetto. Aye. What would you, anyone you could see? Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg? Aye. Snoop would be class. What's your favourite Snoop Dogg song? I don't know. I get a shot. We can win. We <laughs> can win. <laughs> Magic, eh? Magic Great sucks. lyrics, James. <laughs> well, he's getting that up. Uh, host Qatar, they were brilliant, man, weren't they? What, what, effort, what an effort. First host yeah. to finish with zero points. Are they the worst teams to ever play in the world? Aye, yes. definitely, because like Aye. I said, when that went even, even the wee Qatari referee, one, did you see him he one day? Oh, I right? loved the way he just he was sprinting at people. He was like a wee whirly column. Hang on it and then out of the curb. Couldn't he wait, by the way? The Qatari goalies up there with the worst of them. Neither that gain yourself a wee bit of time to think. As soon as <laughs> just I just sprint, it. by the way, good change of pace, I know. It's uh, all stinking that. Who else? Any other bad teams you remember? I tell you what, I in the this World Cup? No, I just didn't. In general. Um, oh, what was the one? There was the, they were they were lined up in the wall. Uh, and they kept running. Is it, is it, and the boy ran out and uh, just volleyed it. Is it? Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Fuck off, boy. Seriously. <laughs> Put that to the camera. <laughs> I I potentially see that again. Like, <laughs> that's, that's quite scary. Right, the Colonel, any other teams you remember? Is it the Colonel? Who, who was that? Who was that team that played Scotland, kept running it for the free kick? Is it Zambia? Zambia. 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 Uh, oh my god, man. You need to get a hat like that, Kev. Oh Who's my god. Like, that's a must. Zambia. <laughs> who else were bad? Um Were we no bad? <laughs> I Aye. think so. Aye. For me? We were bad many yeah. occasions. <laughs> Definitely. No, Jason I, Cummins no. has got further in the World Cup than any Scotland individual ever. Mm. I'm just trying to think back to the one that Ruffy was in. Who was it? Was it was it Iran that they were skelton boy? Peru. Peru. Into the skelton them into the top corners and that. Aye. Oh. Getting, like Ruffy just like that. <laughs> I know <laughs> Ruffy. Ruffy. Class, Ruffy's it? after dinner. He talks about the World Cups. He's brilliant. Aye, is it good? Aye, aye, really good. Aye. We can win. US media were full of praise for Carter Vickers. We can win. 
Jake, told you, you I called it out during the show last he week. Said Zimmer frame should get I put said out. Zimmer frame should be put, put out and, v- and Carter Vickers in, and Carter Vickers was excellent. What a man, I don't understand how you can be playing for Celtic at that level, Champions League, and playing well, and then be a sub for USA. For Zimmerman. For Zimmerman. He wasn't singing loud enough, innit? That's why. Ah, he wasn't he? No. He maybe didn't have the tannoy. Because uh-huh, the daylight the one of them. Ah, the microphones. Who's going to be top scorer and winner? Rashford. Rashford. Top scorer, Rashford? Mm-hmm. I think he scored against Senegal. I think five, four or five goals will be enough. I think he'll be top scorer. Well, he scored three already. Boy for Holland scored in Mbappe. a game. Mbappe. I'll go with Mbappe. Oh, you could be right, Mbappe. Because I think they'll go far up as Who's well. Who's got Poland? Oh, that could be anything, that. Ah, that could be. You've got to think anything. of the games they're playing against. <laughs> Who's going to win it? I'm, I'm going to start with Argentina. See, see, at the start, I was I was going for France, but then just Who's looking at the, the, but you, the point you made right, about the spin. squad... But I liked, I liked what I seen me for Argentina last night. Aye, I think. I still I'd love it for Messi. 19, Ma- Maradona missed a penalty in the last group game in 1986. I know, but what is that, man? And Mario Kemp, what is it, Kemp? Kemp, Kemp he Mario missed a penalty Kemp. in the one day in the last group game. A wee omen for you. Aye. I think things are just kind of repeating themselves, but a different How way. How does that happen? Do you think? I think mm-hmm. so. Gaze Elvis impersonation before we go. That'd be good to end the show. Elvis? Since you're back. Since the accents are back. What am I doing with Elvis? I watched the day with him. Sing a song. Yeah, you love nothing you. better. That was good. I love you. Are you, got you lonesome tonight? You got a vodka for us. <laughs> That's good, Kev. That's good. He's in all lineup. I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, <laughs> bit deeper than that, am I wrong? Oh, I go deeper. Uh, no, I used to have a good impression. Are you lonesome tonight? Are you lonesome? I'm in the Elvis. Let's go. <coughs> <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of all the songs. Like, right. Go and sit on that toilet. Is that not how he died? Sitting on the toilet? Did you a heart attack? So he did. No, I, in the toilet. Was that not after they flew into Scotland? No, I did. I did. Did you not know, give somebody a heart attack when they went to the toilet after you'd been in? Maybe you were in the front of Elvis. That was a summer one. <laughs> It was the summer wind. <laughs> summer wind and that's a winter wind. That's a blizzard every time. <laughs> 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 right, sing as well, Elvis Kiss. No, no. Just like first in December, what a go. No, no, you'd sing as it with Sinatra. And now <laughs> Mate, yeah, your sort your voice is the same for Sinatra <laughs> as, as for Elvis. Oh, that's good. That's better. And so I face Paul Potts. <laughs> All right, Jiggles. <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. Brilliant.